right people, so the two of us, Tatsu and Nico, are right now in Vienna. We are in Vienna because we need to get documents from the Japanese embassy so that we can get married. Yeah, Yay. we are engaged and we Finally. need to collect like lots of documents. One is the Kosaki Toon. It's, it's a kind of it's a kind of family register in Japan. And then what we are here in Vienna for now is the certificate of marriage eligibility. And of course, we then said, right, might as well when we go to Vienna, we might as well actually take a look at the place as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Dream world. Yeah, Japanese people really love Europe and they especially love Vienna. Mm -hmm. And that is why she goes absolutely nuts and crazy about this place, photographing everything mm -hmm. that uh, moves and doesn't move. And of course, our handy and sassy and sometimes extremely incredibly rude assistant, Cassandra, is here for us to provide us details about places and things here in Vienna. Mm. Cassandra. You're up. You say that you want to do sightseeing, but I'm 100% confident that the only thing you want to do here in Vienna is to stuff your face exactly how a hamster would do it. Shut up, Cassandra. I will never shut up. You are so incredibly rude all the time. How about you just stop for once? I will stop once you stop eating fried chicken from a conveyor belt, you overweight porcupine. Cassandra, you're here to do a job. Searching Google Maps for places that serve a salad. The best and really only way to start in the day is with a proper breakfast, and thankfully German and Austrian hotels in Tupperau have a great selection of continental and sometimes even English kind of cooked breakfasts. So, um, and, and the great thing is um, typically what you can do is you can have a buffet for most of the stuff, sometimes you can order eggs and bacon from the kitchen if it's not served as a buffet, and you get coffee as much as you like, you just order it from the waiters. That's how it's typically done. Vienna has a really great coffee culture, by the way. And that as a coffee lover and enthusiast and enjoyer, that is myself, coffee is great. Oh, Cassandra, tell us everything about the Stefansdom, the one right behind you right now. Sure. And nothing else. I guess you don't want me to mention that you've already consumed 2,000 calories today? Arr. Well, anyways, St. Stephen's Cathedral, or Stephansdom as known by its German name, is one of the most historic buildings of Vienna. It is situated right in the heart of the city and attracts many visitors from across the world, while still being used daily for religious services. Below the church one can find the catacombs, containing a large amount of remains from the victims of the Black Death pandemic which plagued Europe in 1346. Personally, I am most impressed by the cathedral's age, having been constructed in the 12th century. Its spires are a sight to behold, standing 140 meters tall. Hey, wait a second, where did you just go? Checking geolocation. The nearby soccer cafe? I guess you couldn't make it 20 minutes without chomping down on food. We are right now enjoying Café Sacha, a company ridiculously famous for a stupidly famous cake called the Sacha Cake. And we are going to eat that right now. Cost a pretty penny um, and uh, we had to queue to get in here on a Thursday. But um, I guess that thing is going to be absolutely worth it. Is it that good? Yeah. Is it that good? I guess this face doesn't lie. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely good. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. I have an idea. You should go back to the cathedral and climb the spire. That should burn some of the calories you desperately need to burn. Oh yeah. No one told me Vienna would require such exercise. <sighs> Tatsu. Huh? That's what television towers look like. 
Aww. That's why it looks similar to Tokyo Sky Tree because it's a television tower. Ah. So, Tora does Sky Tree? I don't know. I, <laughs> now you ask me to know Japanese geography as well. I, I went to Tokyo like tw twice. It's Donut Turm. Yeah, there is actually there is. Donut Turm, uh, Donut Turm 252 meters. Smaller, smaller than Tokyo Tower. Mm -hmm. Is there like a weird sense of Japanese pride and accomplishment flowing through you now? <laughs> this tower over there is, to is not as tall as Tokyo Tower. And that is why Japanese Japan is amazing. <laughs> My Japanese girlfriend, fiance, soon to be wife, right there. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what you get when you have to have a Japanese partner. They they are like super aggressive and 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 and, 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 and <laughs> territorial about Japanese things. Yeah. Japanese sense of pride and national accomplishment. <laughs> Whenever I play Nintendo Switch, he's like, yes, that guy's playing Japanese toys and not the stupid, stupid American Xboxes. <laughs> yeah, go Japan. <laughs> this is the library, Tetsu. This is the Austrian National Library. It looks like a castle. Yep. It's pretty much a castle, isn't it? <laughs> You are now at the National Library of Austria, which was established in 1368. It was actually built during the reign of the Holy Roman Empire over Vienna. Hence, the Roman-looking designs within the building. I am actually surprised that you paid the 8 euro entrance fee since you are typically a cheap ass. What you are seeing here is the so-called Prunksaal. Its unique characteristic is that its two sides are not just physically apart but also philosophically. One side of the room is dedicated to literature about war, while the other is dedicated to the exact opposite. Peace. Anyways, I just noticed that you have gone without eating for more than 4 hours. I am actually impressed. Oh wait, you just entered a restaurant. Of course you did. So one of the most famous foods of Vienna is the Wiener Schnitzel, which Tatsu is having right now. I am, however, eating a different variation, which is called the Cordon Bleu. Well, actually, it's kind of French, isn't it? Cordon Bleu. Uh, anyways, it's basically a variation of the Wiener Schnitzel, uh, which has ham and cheese inside of it. And that makes it in particularly delicious, and I love it. This is like literally the most amazing thing ever. I'm gonna take a bite, and you'll see why. Here, spread it, and I'm gonna eat this. This is incredible. Wow, like literally. This is incredible. That's how I know I've reached heaven. Another day, another ridiculous breakfast with an absurd number of calories that you consumed. I know what you did Nico. Anyways, you seem to be around the Hofburg right now, which is the former principal imperial palace of the Habsburg dynasty. Mega. Mega Built in the 13th century, it has been expanded multiple times outwards. Since 1946, it is used as the official residence and workplace of the president of Austria. Discrimination. Wait, you're literally complaining that there is no where Japanese is flag hanging there. That's what you're complaining about. My god. The sense of national pride and accomplishment is getting the best of Mitatsu. England and America flag. No. 
They are R. Japanese What's fashion. No it's insane. Japanese Your patriotism flag. is so insane. Your patriotism. Oh, disappointment. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Wow. Let's hope no one knows what the word hentai means here, or they'd be very upset. That's why the Japanese like him so much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't country. know at the first, but I Sexually recently searched on the internet. Oh, so, oh, oh, woo! He's hentai. <laughs> I didn't know at the first. Blah blah blah. A blah blah blah. Blah blah blow blah blah. Blah. That's very, very interesting, Cassandra. Thank you so much. We have eaten ourselves for the entirety of Vienna, and I have to say, my belly is happy, and I am happy. Well, that was a really, really good time here. We saw a bunch of really cool stuff. The food, the restaurants, uh, and, and of course, the sights and the culture. And you loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Very, very special for you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, because the way I feel in Japan is the way she feels here, and I feel absolutely incredible in Japan. So I know she feels incredible here. And while some of the stuff isn't so exciting for me, they are for her, and that is why well, I'm still happy to do them, because if she's happy, I am. Happy wife, happy life. Anyways, we're gonna get back. See you next time. See ya. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe.